it's good to see all of you. So, first and foremost, give it up for your next representatives, Mary Barzi Flores, Debbie Mercasel Powell, and from the U, Donna Shalala. A leader that we are going to send back to the United States Senate, my friend, Bill Nelson, and give it up for an outstanding mayor, one of the most inspiring, gifted candidates that are running this year, the next governor of the next great state of Florida, Andrew Gillum. Let me, make a, let me make a confession. I love you back. But you knew that. That wasn't a confession. Now, there are a lot of good reasons to come to mind. It's starting to get a little cooler back in D.C. Leaves are falling and the, the wind's getting a little brisker and you know, around this time of year, you start thinking, I wouldn't mind being in Miami. Miami. You've got the ocean. You've got really good Cuban sandwiches. You've got very uh, nice looking people. So there are a lot of good reasons to come to Miami. You know, it's okay. You know, you're right. Sorry, sorry. Don't curse in front of kids. Come on. Don't do that in front of kids. Come on. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. You know what? This is what I look forward to, is having a, a few hecklers to get me back in the mood. You know? It, you know, it's, it's like I enjoy that. You always gotta have a few in order to know that you're on the campaign trail. So, so these are all the reasons I've come down to Miami. But the real reason I came down to Miami because this Tuesday might be the most important election of our lifetimes. Politicians will always say that, but this time, it's actually true. The stakes really are that high. The consequences of any of us staying home really are more dangerous. Because America's at a crossroads. The health care of millions, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sir, sir.
at a crossroads. The health care of millions is on the ballot. Making sure working families get a fair shake is on the ballot. But maybe most of all, the character of our country is on the ballot. In the closing weeks of this election, we have seen repeated attempts to divide us with rhetoric designed to make us angry and make us fearful. That's designed to exploit our history of racial and ethnic and religious division. That pits us against one another. To make us believe that order will somehow be restored if it just weren't for those folks who don't look like we look or don't love like we love or pray like we do. It's one that the powerful and the privileged turn to whenever control starts slipping away. They'll get folks riled up just to protect their power and their privilege. Even when it hurts the country. Even when it puts people at risk. It's as cynical as politics gets. But in four days, in four days, Florida, you can reject that kind of politics. In four days, you can be a check on that kind of behavior. In four days, you can choose a bigger, more prosperous, more generous vision of America, an America where love and hope conquer hate, an America where we, the people, whatever we look like, whoever we love, however we choose to pray, however our ancestors came here, we can come together to shape our country's course. That's what Andrew Gillum stands for. That's what Bill Nelson stands for. I'm hoping that's what you stand for. That's what you can do when you vote on Tuesday. And, and then, we've been at this crossroads We've been at crossroads like this before. And, and each time we made the right choice, not by sitting back, not by waiting for history to happen to us, but by marching and by mobilizing and by organizing and by voting to make history happen. That's how we abolished slavery in this country. That's how we overcame a Great Depression. That's how we won women's rights and workers' rights and civil rights. Well, we want to break away from President Obama for just a second, but we want to remind you, you can actually continue to watch his remarks at CBSNews.com. For now, we go to the White House. President Trump it just spoke. It's a very exciting five days. We're doing numerous trips to numerous great places.